I am creating a folder named flets underscore routing. We will write our code in this. For this we will also have to do a virtual environment. Now I will activate the virtual environment here and install the latest version of flet and fletx. I will open Visual Studio code in this folder. I will create a main.py file here, in which I will write the code of basic flat app. Our basic app is working perfectly. Now we will integrate FlatX with it. Here we will import XApp and route from FlatX package. Now, I will initialize XApp inside the main function, which will take page and routes as parameters. In the page parameter, we will pass the page, and for the routes parameter, we will pass an empty list for now. We haven't added the views to the routes yet, which is why it is showing us a 404 view not found. Error. To add views, we first need to create them. We will write all our views inside the views folder. First, we will create a home underscore view dot py file and define the home view inside it. Now we will import flet as ft and import xview from flets. Here, we will define the home view class, which will inherit from xview so that we can use all the built-in methods of xview.
Under the home view, we will define the build method, which will return ft.view. Inside this method, we will design the user interface for our home view. Now, in the main.py file, we will import our home view. Then, we will use the route function to add it under the routes, where we had previously provided an empty list. The route function takes two parameters. The first parameter is the route, which specifies the URL where we want to show our view, and the second parameter is the view, where we provide our home view. So far, there are no errors, and our app is working perfectly. Now, we will create a next underscore view.py file inside the views folder. Just like we created home view, we will similarly define next view. Now we will import next view into the main.py file and add it to the routes list. For next view, we will assign the route slash next. Now, we will create a button inside home view. When this button is clicked, it will navigate to next view. For the on underscore click property of the button, we will provide a lambda function that calls the self.go method. The self.go method works like page.go, and we will pass the route for next view e.g. slash next to this method to navigate to next view. Inside next view, we will also create a button that, when clicked, navigates back to the previous view. This time, 
we don't need to write a lambda function for on underscore click. We can directly provide the self.back method, which handles the event and navigates back to the previous view. Woohoo! Our FlatX routing example app is working perfectly. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments box. Smiling face with smiling eyes.